Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about painkillers and um, almost everyone uses painkillers at some point in their life and there's basically two main types. NSAIDs, which stands for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and opioids, which is like morphine. So the difference between these two groups is opioids, they act centrally in your brain and they're for like more really severe, visceral, deep kind of pain. And you'll find this, you only get this in the hospital, you know, you won't find this over the counter. But with a lot of NSAIDs, you will find them over the counter. And these types of drugs are like your aspirin, ibuprofen, common things like this that we use a lot. So there's something always being made in our body called prostaglandins. And ibuprofen and aspirin and NSAIDs, they act by inhibiting the synthesis of these prostaglandins and that's how they work and that's how we don't have as much pain sensation when we take these painkillers. The main uses for NSAIDs is headaches and arthritis, back pain, menstrual cramps, any type of muscle pain in the body and that's why we resort to NSAIDs. But um, for morphine, which is given in the hospital, that's for like serious pain and pain that is that strong and severe, these NSAIDs won't help at all. These drugs are relatively safe if used appropriately. Aspirin is a little bit more dangerous because um, if it's used in children, which it should never be used in children, um, it can lead to a syndrome called Ray's syndrome. And in, no matter who uses it, it'll increase your bleeding time. So if you cut yourself, you're going to be bleeding for a longer amount of time. Also, with ibuprofen, it can lead to gastric ulcers. Same with aspirin, it can do the same thing. If you take these painkillers on an empty stomach, that's a bad idea. You definitely want to take them after food because, you know, it can cause gastric ulcers if you take too many of them too long over a short amount of time and, like, chronically. So you don't want to do that. Even worse, if you do t continue to take them chronically, it can lead to liver failure and kidney failure. And don't forget, some people can actually be allergic to these drugs. And um, if you have asthma and if you're asthmatic, you might be allergic to aspirin. You have a higher chance. And also, uh, if you are allergic to one type of NSAID, there's a good chance you might be allergic to another one. So be careful with that. Avoid alcohol while taking NSAIDs. Also, if you are pregnant, do not take NSCDs either. One last thing to look out for is addiction. And I know everyone knows that it happens to morphine and people get addicted to morphine, but it does happen with ibuprofen and other painkillers too. So just be careful. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching.